What's up guys, this is Hunter from Black Valve Media and today I'm going to show you a cool effect called Analog Damage and it's in DaVinci Resolve Studio. If you've used Premiere, you know it's free. Uh, the studio version is about 300 bucks and it's honestly a bargain. Other NLEs are subscription based um, or maybe even more expensive. So I think it's a really good value and we've had a license for this thing that we got with a Blackmagic camera for years and it still works. That's really great too. Updates don't get rid of your license. DaVinci has a lot of cool effects that you might not know about. Um, if you go through and just check them all out, you're gonna learn something every time. And we came across analog damage, trying to find a solution to make footage look like it's on a VHS or look like it's on an old television. And you can get really, uh, you can really finesse this effect. You can do, you know, change the scan lines um, and they have really good presets as well. So you can get an era and kind of have a really great starting point for that era. This can work for like a VFX situation where you're putting footage over an existing television and maybe that CRT wasn't actually um, playing anything back on set and you're laying that in a post. You can add these effects to make it look more authentic. Evan and I really enjoy doing this legitimately by filming CRTs. Um, it's one of our passions with old televisions, but sometimes this is just the easiest way. Additionally, if you have an old TV that doesn't work, but you like the way it looks, you can use this effect to change your footage that you're gonna play back onto it to look authentic to the television itself. We've actually used this in practice multiple times, and it's a super powerful tool. If you have a video you just wanna add a vibe to and give it a VHS effect, but you don't have a VHS camera, you haven't gotten into that stuff yet, you can actually use this to make it seem like you did. Personally, I've used this effect for a logo intro for my other channel called Volted Moto. Please check it out and subscribe. In that example, you can see how the vintage look can give you a nostalgic vibe. So now I'll walk you through a little bit how to get this set up in DaVinci. Um, once you get your clips in a timeline here, um, you can head over to the color page. And I believe you can get it in there from this effects window on the edit page, but I think it's a little easier on the color page because then you can see what node you're on and put it on a node. It's a little easier to work that way, in my opinion. Um, so once you have a node, I've labeled it effects. We have our LUT on this node. Um, this is some behind the scenes for a video shot in our studio. So we've got some S-Log3 footage there. So that LUT's on there. And then this is my FX node. Um, and then you can just go here and search for analog damage. Go ahead and drag that on your node. Um, and then right away you can see it pulls up the default clean VHS look, um, which is pretty cool. It looks like VHS, you gotta scale this to fit, or maybe you like the cool effect of it on either side, who knows, you know, might work for your thing. But you can see quickly the presets are easy to get different looks. So early television, I mean, you'd think that was from then. If they, you know, aside from things in the shot that otherwise would tell you otherwise. So then you've got 1960s black and white, 1960s color, 70s, 80s, things are squaring out, the 90s, and then clean VHS, old VHS. This is cool, it's got a little rolling effect going on here. Like it's goofed up or something, like the vertical hold is no good. And then you've got security camera so it's not just for um, vintage televisions but you can also get this security camera look um, but yeah this can get you at a good place to start um, because the amount of settings are somewhat overwhelming at first so if you know you're going for an early television look you can start there right away um, so obviously all these different settings telecine source broadcast signal color scan scans cool you can change the amount of scan lines how sharp or soft those are. So we can change that somewhere. Uh, I lied. There's some, oh, it's in scan lines. Line sharpness. So you can make it more line effect if you want to give it that line effect, or you can make it less so it's a little more clean. Just depends on the look. You can change the frequency of the lines. So you can make big lines, little lines. Now this would be helpful if you had a specific shot where it's a little more pushed in maybe the lines should be bigger if it's a tight shot of a screen and then using it as an overlay so you know it's kind of powerful in that sense that you can change kind of all the aspects of it 
TV construction, phosphor brightness, which is a interesting way in which the brightness works, which is tries to mimic how the phosphor would, the phosphor style of televisions would change. Um, just a lot of cool effects. VHS, you've got the different, uh, the, what is it calling this? Restless foot height. So imitating a actual, you know, it's called damage. It's imitating issues with a VHS player um, or judder. You know, you can get cool stuff going on. Um, but yeah, and what's neat on top of all of that is there is a global blend. So you can kind of do it to taste. There's scaling involved, but you could match your scaling um, on some stuff. This has a warp in it because of the curved screen, so it wouldn't work too well on a global blend, but maybe that's just the effect you're after. Um, super powerful tool. We actually get into it a lot. It adds a lot of texture and kind of like grittiness to whatever you're working on, and it can give you a, a nostalgic feel. Uh, so pretty neat. Um, play with it, check it out. There's a lot you can do. Links for watching. If you have any questions about analog damage or DaVinci as a whole, throw it in the comments. We can try to help you out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit that like button if you like this video. Why? Why? Why does Ninja need a low taper fade, everybody? Can everyone answer that? <laughs>